Hello everyone and welcome. In today's lesson we will see how to describe emotions and feelings. We will see many adjectives that end with ing or with ed and we will see the difference between them. When do we use the ing adjectives and when do we use the ed adjectives? We will see some modifying words that we can use before the verb. Verbs give out like, love, enjoy, we will see also vocabulary related to rooms and furnitures. Let's start. Let's start with adjective with ing and ed. Adjectives that end in ing describe the effect something has. Let's see the example here. The spider is frightening. The spider is frightening. The spider causes Right. هي لي كانت السبب ورا الخوف the feeling مهما كان emotion okay? if it is a fright if it is boredom if we say boring for example if we say amazing any, any ing adjectives we use them when we are describing the source of the feeling المصدر متاع الأحساس هو اللي نستعملو له ing adjectives مش اللي حس على عكس الإيد Adjectives ending in ed describe how something is affected. Affected mil source tal says. For example, here the spider is frightening. The man is frightened. So because of the spider, the man is frightened. So the man experiences fright here because of the source. Liu the spider. Always, always we use ing with the source of the feeling. Okay. مهما كان نجم يكون شيء نجم يكون even people okay uh, we can have a frightening people maybe yeah why not okay انسان اللي يخوف مثلا or situation that can be frightening المهم ال ED usually we use them with people most of the time خاطر people who can experience feelings sometimes animal maybe okay but most of the time we say we, we, we describe people with these uh, ED adjectives let's see more examples here the fireworks are amazing. She is amazed. See? The fireworks are amazing. That's why the girl here is amazed. The roller coaster was thrilling. They were thrilled. Thrilling means very, very exciting. Okay? And the same thing. We say exciting and excited. Uh, ing and ed adjective. So the roller coaster was thrilling, and they were thrilled. They were thrilled. The wasp is annoying. He is annoyed. Okay. So you feel Okay. The vacation is relaxing. So he is relaxed. Keep relaxing and relax is ing and ED adjective. Let's do this exercise here. We will cross out the incorrect word in each sentence. We will choose, of course, the correct word here. I am exciting or excited about the football game. I am excited about the football game because the football game is exciting. It is exciting, but I am excited. Number one. This movie is really bored or boring? Be boring. This movie is really boring, so it makes you feel bored. Number two. That meal was disgusting. That meal was disgusting. Okay? It makes you feel disgusted. So, but here, here can speak the meal. Number three, your lecture was really interesting. Your lecture was really interesting. Number four, I'm really thrilled about our trip. I'm really thrilled. I am really excited about our trip. 
number five. The movie was very exciting. The movie was very exciting, so I feel excited by the movie. Number six. I always feel after a bath. I always feel relaxed after a bath. Because the bath is relaxing or having a bath is relaxing. Number seven. I'm really, by the news, I'm really shocked by the news. I'm really shocked by the news. Because the news are shocking. And I must do news are shocking. Very good. Let's do this exercise here. Read the article. We will read it together and match the definitions to the highlighted adjectives. Let's see here. Film review sharp suits. Although the chase scene is exciting, this is a fascinating film. Some may find Julia Mills' quirky performance annoying and be confused by her constant misunderstandings. But her superb comic timing kept me amused. Don't be misled by the comedy as there are some depressing scenes. The ending is shocking, but amazing. This film is a summer must-see. This is must see. This is must see. We have six highlighted words here in yellow. Exhausting. Annoying. Confused. Amused. Depressing. Amazing. Let's match now the words with their definition. Tiring. Tiring, we say exhausting, it makes you feel exhausted, because, for example, here, the chase scene is exhausting, the chase scene, yeah, scene مشهد اللي صوروا يكون في chasing ملاحقة, يعني حد يجروا حد أو حد يجروا حاجة, it is exhausting, so it's very, very, very tiring, حقيقة أقوى من كلمة tiring, it's very tiring, منهك اوكي او حاجه تخليك منهك نمبر 1 فانتاستيك فانتاستيك ايه اميزينغ اميزينغ نمبر 2 اريتيتينغ اريتيتينغ از انوينغ انوينغ مزعج irritating or annoying يعني مزعج number three puzzled puzzled when you feel puzzled in English it means you are confused you are confused number four very sad it means depressing depressing number five entertained amused amused mustamta amused or entertained very good let's fill in now the gaps using the words in the panel we have exhausting annoying amazing relaxed and thrilled I was thrilled that I won the swimming race. I was thrilled. I was very excited that I won the swimming race. Very nice. Number one. The yoga class was great. I feel very relaxed. Some people practice yoga to feel relaxed because yoga is very relaxing so 
The yoga class was great. I feel very relaxed. Number two, it's that the show has been postponed. Postponed يعني delayed تأخر أو تأجل. It is annoying, annoying, مزعج أو مزعج شيء مزعج إنه هي تأخرت. That the show has been postponed. Number three, the film was. The special effects were very good. So the film was amazing. The special effects were very good. And number four, I'm really tired. The marathon was exhausting. You know the marathon, people run. So it is exhausting. Very good. Let's see some modifying words, okay, that we can use usually before adjectives and also even before verbs. So let's see here. Quite, really, and absolutely can be used to modify how much you like or don't like something. So شركزوا اليوم على الاستعمال قبل قبل some some verbs اللي ظهرونا. When you like something or when you dislike, when you don't like any yani something, these um, modifying words must go before the verb. Of course, they come before the verb. Um, the exception here, if it is verb to be, it will no, it will after the verb. We look in my verbs, we use them before the verb. I quite enjoy cycling. I quite enjoy cycling. You can use quite before enjoy and like. So we use quite before enjoy and like. Remember that. In UK, English, quite doesn't have as strong an emphasis as really, really. Okay. So for UK, quite, mm, it's not like really, okay, not like in the US, but in the US, the emphasis is stronger. So, can we talk about emphasis? We talk about the key. تقول بالحق أنا نستمتع بالسايكلينج بسياق الدرجات أوكي وقت تحب تقول بالحق you can say quite especially in the US it's very strong uh, and you can use also really really you can use it really is used when you mean a lot more I really like cycling you can use really before like love enjoy So you can use before marry, and with don't like, okay, and hate also. So we can use really with everything, obviously, okay? Not like quite, we usually use quite before enjoy or like. Absolutely, absolutely is used in extreme forms, okay? تحب تعال extreme love extreme hate يعني تحب بطريقة قصوى أو تكره بطريقة قصوى. You can use absolutely before love and hate. I absolutely love cycling. I absolutely love cycling. Let's see more examples with modifying words. He quite likes playing tennis. He quite likes playing tennis. He really loves. Eating cake. He really loves eating cake. She really enjoys playing guitar. She really enjoys playing guitar. I really don't like cooking. I really don't like cooking. She really hates waking up early. She really hates waking up early. They absolutely hate singing. They absolutely hate singing. There are some common mistakes here. We have to be careful. Some combinations of modifying words and verbs are wrong. Saat man hotush ay modifying words qbal a verb. Okay? I quite love cycling. We don't say I quite love cycling. We don't use quite before love, don't like, or hate. Okay, we usually use it before enjoy or like. 
I absolutely enjoy cycling. We don't use absolutely before. Like, enjoy or don't like. خاطرها extreme donc like يعني أعجاب يسمى حاجة خفيفة نفضلو إن احنا نستعملو قبل for example love love قوية so we can use that before it okay let's cross out the incorrect words here in each sentence I really love going to the movie theater I really love going to the movie theater number one I hate traveling to the city I absolutely hate traveling to the city absolutely like you are strong feelings of hate or of love number two I enjoy reading books I really enjoy reading books I really enjoy reading books number three I like swimming like remember that I quite like swimming I quite like swimming number four I hate driving to work I really hate driving to work I really hate driving to work very good here now let's see some vocabulary related to rooms and furniture Plants, plants. We can decorate the house with the plants, or we can put them in the garden or the yard. Yard in the U.S. and garden. Lawn, lawn, lashp. Lawn mower, lawn mower. We have an action that some people do in their garden. Here to mow the lawn. Mow the lawn. يعني قص العشب. Door. Door, bed, bed, closet or wardrobe, closet or wardrobe, chest of drawers, bedside table, bedside table, mirror, mirror, computer, desk, table, chair. Lamb, television, armchair, armchair, sofa or couch, sofa or couch, cushion, cushion, rug, rug, basin, bathtub or Bath, shower, toilet, towel, towel, Liel Manchva, light, stove or cooker, stove or cooker, ice box or freezer, ice box or freezer. Microwave, washing machine, dishwasher, cupboard, cupboard, trash can or bin, trash can or bin, saucepan, saucepan, frying pan, the المقلات متاع القلي. Frying pan, knife, knife, fork, fork, spoon, spoon, silverware or cutlery, silverware, or crockery, crockery. Let's see the vocabulary of some rooms here. We have study, study, bathroom, garage, 
living room kitchen bedroom and dining room we can say house or we can say an apartment an apartment or a flat we have here the buildings where we can find an apartment we say apartment block or block of flats apartment block or block of flats that's it for today thank you so much for your attention and see you soon goodbye